welcome to our humble abode. This is our foyer. I'll turn around just so you can see the door. It's the front door. Come in and there is a half bathroom. Just your mirror. And and this is our garage. He letting out the air. He letting in books, so I'm gonna close the door. Um, got hardwood floors on the main, and this is our breakfast area in our living room. We've got these huge, beautiful windows, and we've got a huge backyard. I'll show you that as well. Got built-ins and the fireplace, um, gas fireplace. It's our island and our kitchen. You can kind of see where the fridge goes there. There's our range and our microwave and our double sink here. This is a pantry, which we haven't had a full pantry. So I'm looking forward to having this full space to store things in addition to all of these cabinets. And these drawers look like it's the whole width of the entire cabinetry down here. Got some regular cabinets. And then of course there's cabinets in the island. The dishwasher's in the island as well. So, and all of these are functional except for this one. Right here. This is not an actual drawer. So I'm gonna show you guys what's, what our backyard is looking like. So you got this really beautiful backyard, which we will probably fence at some point. There's still construction going on behind us but this barrier was put up by the property. There's one between us and our neighbor's yard. Okay. okay, yeah, it's locked. So we've got recess lighting throughout here and our third story, we've got a ceiling fan in here. Those are the stairs going up. So the stairs are carpeted but the floor in this section in the main area is hardwood, as is our bedroom. That's the only place up here we put it. So once you come up, here is our second floor guest bathroom. So we've got marble quartz, sorry, quartz countertops, and then um, traditional, basically a traditional bathtub. This is our guest bedroom which will actually be an office slash guest bedroom. And I love this room because it has a small patio off the front. But so we've got this tiny balcony up here. We've got some really cute lanterns. It'd be really cute for when I want to step out of the office when I'm at home working because of the Rona. It also has a full closet a full walk-in closet so the goal is to make this space like our crafting work area work from home area should be enough space for that then we've got across the hall our laundry room which i think is the perfect size it's not too much space not too little space don't spend much time in it all of our fiber optics in our home um surveillance and home wiring system is in here and the other guest bedroom is right here this bedroom also sits on the front of the house so this is adjacent to the balcony that's out there i've got a pretty long driveway and this just has a has a smaller closet but still a decent size for a guest bedroom So while we're childless, this will be a guest bedroom. Once we have a kid, it'll probably be a kid's room. And there'll be a space for our nephews and our niece to hang out when they're here. So further down the hall, we've got a linen closet and a guest bedroom, which already has our bed in it, which they deliver without a base. So. There are thermostats on each floor. Um, I think the one on the main floor is touchscreen. 
this one isn't, yeah. Um, so we've got tray ceilings in here, which eventually we're gonna paint probably the tray part of it, like the actual drop down piece and then crown mold it and crown mold these walls too. Michael's gonna come help us and Vladimir can do it. This is probably my favorite part of the house. We have this really, really beautiful tile. It's super farmhouse, so we're gonna have a farmhouse-ish bathroom. Um, and then our shower towel kind of goes around the tub. That's the shower. We are changing out the shower head, so stay tuned for that. And then we've got uh, double vanities, so they're split, so I can keep my mess on my side of the bathroom. We've got a water closet in here, nothing special there. Another linen closet, so we've got a private linen closet in the master suite. And we've got our walk-in master closet, which we're gonna be making into our own like custom closet type of situation, so stay tuned for that. Oh, and the lighting in here is recessed. So there's some recess, recess lighting here, but then we have the over the vanity lights. They played us, but they played us with this mattress. They really did. We're gonna go up to the third floor. So this is our third floor, like bonus space. It's an extra bedroom technically because it has a bathroom and a closet. Um, so this space is huge. We can't wait to make this like entertainment space slash spare bedroom space. There are also recess lighting up here. Our attic access is here. This door will be Vladimir's man cave. I'm not allowed in here. So stay on the lookout for that. We've got some extra bonus space over here too. Um, there's nothing but like, like insulation on the ground. You can use it as extra storage space, honestly. It's just hot, but that's probably what this space will be used for. The space on the other side looks like this, except it's a different shape, so. It is hot. There's a walk-in closet up here. And a full bathroom. We're gonna be documenting our process of renovating and remodeling, decorating this home. So if you're interested, stay tuned.